When a company puts a video game into the world, their hope is always that it will be a huge success. But sometimes, things take an unexpected turn, and the game you thought would be a smash hit ends up crashing and burning. Often, this means letting your failed project quietly wither away in a Best Buy bargain bin. But other times, it means promptly pulling every copy from store shelves, destroying them, and pretending they never existed. Let's take a look at some of the most controversial games that were recalled and relocated to the nearest dump. To Air is Human Silicon Knights was an independent, Canada-based studio with a few hits to their name. Hoping for a David and Goliath moment in 2007, they decided to take a swipe at big-name studio Epic Games, the company behind Gears of War. But that didn't exactly go according to plan. Silicon Knights sued Epic over disagreements about the engine, claiming that Epic had sabotaged efforts by Silicon Knights and others to develop their own video games using Unreal Engine 3. Unfortunately for Silicon Knights, Epic countersued in 2012, and a judge in North Carolina ruled in Epic's favor, saying that Silicon Knights repeatedly and deliberately copied significant portions of Epic Games' code containing trade secrets and used it to create a competing product, Silicon Knights' own game engine. This meant that Silicon Knights had to recall and destroy every single unsold copy of the already controversial and barely playable action RPG Too Human. With this ruling, the universally panned title was all but wiped off the face of the earth. Good riddance. I think Too Human is one of the biggest, most misunderstood games in the industry. Well, that's one way of putting it. Destined to be forgotten. Silicon Knight's trouble didn't end with Two Humans Recall. Their next title, X-Men Destiny, suffered a similar fate. While the title had an interesting premise that had players stepping into the shoes of a new mutant aligned with either Professor X or Magneto, it ultimately received underwhelming reviews from critics. Of course, after that pesky court ruling, the mediocre quality of the game no longer mattered. X-Men Destiny was also recalled. The damage done to Silicon Knights went beyond losing these two games. They were also forced to destroy the code for three games they'd already announced and pay $9.2 million to the company. Unsurprisingly, Silicon Knights filed for bankruptcy in 2014. Little Big Oopsie Full of cute and cuddly characters and creative gameplay, Little Big Planet is beloved by players of all ages. And if its meta score of 95 is any indication, critics loved the quirky title too. So what went wrong? Well, before it became a runaway success, Sony ran into a little big problem thanks to, surprise, its background music. If you're scratching your head in confusion, you're not alone. Here's the gist. Eurogamer reports that Sony delayed Little Big Planet's release because they found two references to the Quran in one of its background songs. The song in question was recorded by Tomani Jabate, himself a Muslim, but the folks at Sony worried about offending members of the Muslim faith by having words from their holy book in their silly little video game. In addition to delaying the game's release, every copy of the game that had been delivered to retailers worldwide was recalled and replaced. A majestic mistake. In school, they try and drill it in your head that plagiarism is wrong. You aren't supposed to steal other people's work, and if you get caught, there will be hell to pay. Well, the guys behind Limbo of the Lost must have been playing hooky that day, because that's exactly what landed their game in hot water. Before it became famous for its plagiarism, Limbo of the Lost was just a small-time, little-known point-and-click adventure. The game was made by developer Majestic Studios, which was really just three friends from England, friends who apparently were big fans of The Elder Scrolls IV, Oblivion, and Thief, Deadly Shadows. As IGN reported, the game stole not just level design from those titles, but background details as well. Try Synergy, who released the game, claimed ignorance of what the developers had done and called for an end to all sales. It pulled the game from stores and proceeded to put the kibosh on Majestic Studios' first and only title. The developers would later go on to deny that they had any hand in the plagiarism. Instead, they blamed outsourced talent for the oversight. Arcade Aches Casual video gameplay doesn't usually cause injuries. Sure, you may end up with a sore wrist or fingers, and virtual reality can make you feel sick, but casual gamers typically come away from their favorite titles unscathed. 
That wasn't the case with the 1990 arcade version of Sonic Blast Man. At its core, Sonic Blast Man was about punching people, and in the arcade version, they let you do the punching, using a punching bag that you would strike as hard as you could to clear each level. You can probably see where this is going. As Retro Games blogger VG Junk notes in his write-up of the wildly different sequel, some game players got a little overzealous with their punches. The game was recalled in the United States because people were hurting themselves. Thus, the machines were promptly pulled from arcades everywhere, and gamers were forced to take out their pent-up frustration in healthier ways. Thanks for watching. Click the SVG icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.